We got another round. This is gonna be a ripper round in a minute. I'll go ahead and give you a better idea of what I want to do here. Alright, so here's my idea. I think that's going to be pretty awesome. I've seen a lot of people do uh, the other kind of carts with uh, the steering actually on them. We'll build a frame and uh, tuck a gas engine under here somewhere. I think there'll be enough room. So, first thing we gotta tear it all apart and figure out the frame for the bottom here and we'll have to build a front axle and spindles and all that to hold all that on there. And then, uh, it's gonna be pretty sweet. Alright, so we're going to rip this thing apart and see what the frame looks like and see what we have to build off of that. Cut it down, put the spindles on there. Yeah, and then it's gonna be like that. Yeah, that's about the right size. It's crazy when shit just works like that. Alright, so we're working on the power chair. We got uh, the back part of the frame welded up there. Now we just need to figure out where the axle is going to sit on there.
All right, so just to go over what we did here, we have the wiper motor being powered by the H bridge. That's getting power from the jump box. It'll be a battery later. And then the servo, we took the motor out of it and the gears, so it's just the potentiometer. And the two wires from the motor are going to the H bridge. And then these other wires here are just 6 volt power wires from the H bridge. This is a DC to DC buck converter. It takes 12 volts and outputs 6 volts. That goes to here and to all of these wires. This here is the RC transceiver or receiver. Um, it has the servo, this will be for the throttle, and then this is for the other servo. So when we turn on the controller and the jump box, now set it down so I can turn it easier with one hand and it turns depending on how much you turn it and comes back to center both ways and then this will be for the throttle and it's all adjustable and everything, how far and... So, we'll be able to keep the hover around power chair looking like a hover around power chair. It won't have a steering wheel. It'll be remote control. Alright, so we got the power chair out. We're going to test it out, make sure the electronics and everything work the way they're supposed to. Um, we don't have an actual battery for it, so I just zip-tied the jumper box on here right now and a uh, temporary gas tank. But uh, we'll see how it works. Alright, so uh, that was the first test of this. It seemed to work pretty good. It uh, did everything it was supposed to do. Everything worked as it should. Um, we do need to get a battery to mount here. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to go with 12 volts or if I was going to need 24 volts to have more power to the wiper motor. But uh, I think if we go with 12 volts and a high enough amperage battery it might be alright. I think it's going to work out really good. So next time we're going to finish up this here and uh, get the seat on there. Gonna make the, like I said uh, earlier, we're going to make the exhaust come down. Instead of coming up this way, it's going to come down so everything is below this, this level here. Everything has to be below the top of the seat post. So we'll get this flipped around and out of the way and then uh, the gas tank will be mounted to the back of the seat. But this is going to work. It's going to be uh, pretty fun. I think the only sketchy thing will be if uh, you're on it and somebody else has the remote. Alright, so we got the power chair and uh, I got the remote. 
around here a little bit. It's got the seat on it. Everything's all ready. It's got brakes. Show me brakes. What? Yeah. Brakes. All right. So I'm gonna hand the camera to Mike. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you can do anything on the hover round. Oh shit! Wow! <laughs> this is how God wanted us to be. That on a bunch of these things. Jump the stone. 